before I start this video, I need to make something quite clear. I know I said in the last video that it would be the last Bannerlord video until E3, but recently on GameStar some new information has been released, and from what I've seen, more articles are going to be coming out within the next few weeks. So I need to ask you this, do you want to see informational videos like this, where I bring you a video every time some information is released, even though it might not be all that groundbreaking, but it is some nice bits here and there that you guys want to see, or do you want me to just leave it for now? I did ask on my Steam group and I said, hey, I've got this information, it's not massive information, but I don't know if it's worth making a video about, and everyone seemed to want me to make a video on it. So that is what I'm doing here, but I want to get a wider view on it, so make sure you leave your ideas down in the comments. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, this has some bad news about Bannerlord, I'm sorry to say, I want to just state that now. The first one is about co-op mode. Now this has probably been the most requested thing that Tailworlds put in a co-op mode to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Everyone wants it, it's something that I really think would add to the experience in such a massive way. And we have a little bit of information about that. Now of course in Mountain Blade you have your standard multiplayer mode with the custom battles, sieges, battle modes and deathmatch and all the normal stuff like that. But coming on to a co-op mode, the developers have said it is currently not planned. In the article it does mention that the developers wink at the community which could implement the maybe it is something they are thinking about. I do remember a long time ago, GameStar did a live stream with the developers of Tailwoods and they asked this question, will there be a co-op mode in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord? And they have said, we recognise that this is the most requested thing and we are thinking about it because obviously everyone wants it. But if it works, they'll put it in. If it doesn't work, they'll keep it out. They're not going to just try and get a sort of half assed version of a co-op out. Something that you need to keep in mind here is that they mentioned that this could be added in with mod support and I'll get onto that later. They also talk about other game modes that might be in the multiplayer of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, such as a horde mode. Now this is very much like the players are on the same team, sort of like a co-op multiplayer mode. You're on the same team, you're defending against waves and waves of different types of enemies. Now of course this was in some sort of type thing in Mountain Blade Fire and Sword expansion. Of course there's been multiple mods for this and Tailworlds say that they want to finish the game before adding any extension so it looks like this is confirmed that this sort of game mode is not going to be in the initial release of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord but they're saying that they really want to stress the modding community has the options to do pretty much anything they want to and this includes some sort of full invasion 2 mod we already know that there is a full invasion 3 mod being planned and mods have always been the support pillars of Mountain Blade it's always been what has kept it alive in my opinion and of course we do know that modding is going to be a great thing in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord with the options to give developers and anyone really the chance to get into the modding scene as much as possible. Talking about mods, the staff have joked about they are committed that the fans will incorporate such features as co-op modes within their mods. Which is very strange to me and I know this might annoy a few people because it means that the co-op mode is definitely possible with modding, but it also means it might not be in the vanilla game that they're going to be releasing. So if it is possible, why aren't they releasing it? This could be something to do with the fact that they want to get it out as soon as possible, or it could be something to the fact that they don't know if they can do it perfectly, and if they release it as an official thing in the game, anything that isn't perfect, they've got a chance of getting hate for it. But if a modder releases it, of course, they're not going to be responsible if it doesn't work very well. That's just my speculations on why it's probably not going to be something, at least to start with, in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Now, something everyone wants to know is a release date. And I've got some sad news about this as well. This, I have to stress, not confirmed, absolutely not confirmed. This is just what has been said in the article and what the predictions are. Of course, it was announced in 2012, such a long time ago now, almost five years ago. But every single year, it seems that Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord just gets pulled back another year. Everyone wants this game, but the fans have not been pleased year after year. I know many people are starting to get annoyed about this, and when the GameStar editor went to play this game, they did say the game was in a great state, it is absolutely great fun to play. The 2017 remains the official target release year for this game, but unfortunately the GameStar editors say that with their own speculation they think it might be moved back to 2018. 
Now this is horrible news I know for a lot of Mountain Blade fans and me included. I really want to get this game as soon as possible but it really doesn't look like we're going to be getting it any time soon. Maybe, maybe this Mountain Blade developers will stick to the officially targeted release year. Now emphasis on that word, targeted. So does this mean that there is a chance that we'll see it this year? I think so. But I don't think it's going to be in any finished state this year. Mountain Blade is almost certain to finally appear, but its framework needs to be in a presentable condition to be released. The Tale Worlds developers are trying to get this game as perfect as they want it. They don't want to release something half-hearted. And yes, this is great for a developer point of view, but for the fans, I think people are starting to get slightly annoyed by it. What are your thoughts on this article? What do you think about the chance of being co-op mod? And do you think there isn't going to be one in the game straight away? And do you think it's going to be added in with mods later? What do you think is going to happen with mods? What mods would you like to see? And also your opinion on the release date. Of course everyone is hoping it's going to be released in 2017. But do you think it's going to be pushed back against 2018? I don't know. In my personal opinion, I think there's quite a high chance of it. But anyway guys, finally I would like to stress one thing. Something that will cheer you up a little bit. Something that really cheered me up reading it. And this is talk about E3 this year. Now E3 this year is between Tuesday the 13th of June and Friday the 16th of June. And Mountain Blade 2 Banlord is confirmed it is definitely going to be at E3 and we are going to see more news. An article from a Turkish gaming magazine said that there's definitely going to be more things at Mount and Blade 2 Banlord at E3. We're probably most likely going to see some more gameplay, it's going to show a few more mechanics and some more things off about the new game. And also, maybe, maybe, fans are hoping for some sort of more hints about a confirmed release date. And coming through is some of the best news I've heard for a long, long while. If you go to E3 this year, there's an extremely high chance you'll get to play Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. But that's going to come on the 13th of June to the 16th of June. If you guys really want to see that information, hit that subscribe button. And as soon as it is released, I will bring that information out to you. Also, with these GameStar articles coming out, if more come out with the further weeks, do you want me to put up videos straight away on them? Do you want me to get the information straight to you? Or do you want me to wait a little bit about that? Or just leave them completely. That's completely your choice. Leave your preferences in the comments down below. I will make videos on what you guys want me to. And obviously, I won't be able to please everyone with these videos, but I want to do what the majority like of course I guess we're gonna have to wait for E3 any more information coming out if you want to see it leave a comment down below and if you want to support this channel you know what to do but until then I will see you in the next one